call the Otada City Council meeting to order for Monday, February 29th. Uh, may we have roll call, please? Councilmember Schultz? Here. Burbank? Here. Rainey? Here. Svenby? Here. Dodson? Here. Oakberg? Here. Abraham? Here. And Mayor Kuntz? Here. We have Thank all you. seven please of the council and the mayor. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to welcome everyone here to the meeting tonight and with that we'll look for approval of the consent or the agenda. So move it. Second. Motion by Nate Dodson to approve the agenda. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Brent Fenby. Any all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. Moving on to financial report and we'll ask council member Greg Schultz to re report on it. Uh, expenditures are presented for approval tonight are as follows. Checks over 20,000 are $32,343 to Dell's Construction Company, Inc. for the Art Center project, $37,330 to Watan Heating and Cooling for the Art Center project, $31,891 to r &K Electric for the Art Center project, $26,700 to Rocon, Inc. for the Art Center project, $119,688 to the Southeast Service Cooperative for the February health insurance premiums. Other expenditures of $251,569 make a subtotal of $499,522. Add to that the HRA Section 8 payments of $58,750 make a total expenditures presented for approval tonight of $558,000. $273.15. Thank you, Greg. What is the council's wishes? Motion to pay the bill. We have a motion by Dave Burbank and a second by Kevin Rainey to pay the bills. Any further discussion? Uh, one question I've got, Chris, is I've noticed there's a lot of bills for the Art Center. Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility we could have a study session with them to kind of see where they're at with it at this point? Um, certainly. I know that uh, uh, Arlen Burmeister is is down south. I could certainly maybe get a financial report. Um, I don't know if he's available or if you want to meet with the rest of the board. Well, I'm, I'm thinking if we had some kind of a status of where they're at with it, sure. you know, and the, and the money that's being spent uh, where we're yeah. at with that. We can get an update. Okay, great. Right. Thank you. Okay. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. Moving on to the consent agenda <coughs> items, which are items on the uh, agenda for council minute meeting minutes, uh, license permit requests, etc., all grouped into one motion. What is the council's wishes? Motion to approve. We have a motion by Brent Fenby to approve. Do you have a second to that? Second. Second by Jeff Hokelberg. Any further discussion? Kevin. Yeah, that's. Um, Last year, uh, in regards to the Kona Ice, um, I was up at Manthe Park mm -hmm. for football games in the fall, and his vehicle is parked on the uh, trail. Um, our trails are not to be used for uh, motorized vehicles. I would I would ask that, uh, as we approve this, that with the stipulation that he is not allowed to park on our trail system. He needs to use the parking lot. Yes. They, that could be uh, dealt with, uh, Chris? Yeah, we will let them know. Okay. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Do you have a motion by Kevin Rainey to approve? Do you have a second? Second. Second by Nate Dotson. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? This has been approved. Moving down to action items 3.4.1, resolution 1716, authorized transfer of franchise from SMEOC to Steel Wasika, and this will go to Chris. Yes, thank you, Les. Um, back in 2002, a 20-year franchise agreement was approved uh, by the council uh, with the Interstate Power and Light Company to operate an electric utility and distribution center in the city. Uh, last July, IPL sold their Minnesota electric distribution assets to SMEC, and the city approved the transfer of the assignment of the franchise agreement. Uh, now SMEC has entered into a sales agreement with Still Wasika Cooperative and is also requesting another transfer of this um, franchise. <clears throat> 
Article 5 of the franchise permits the assignment um, to another uh, assignee with the written consent of the City of Oatana. Uh, staff would recommend approval. Thank you, Chris. Any questions from the Council? Seeing none, what is the Council's wishes? Motion to approve. We have a motion by Greg Schultz to approve. Do we have a second to that? Second. Second by Nate Dodson. Any further discussion there? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved also. Moving down to 3.4.2, resolution 18-16, set date for public hearing at 20, 2016 Street and the utility project. And I think that goes to Kyle. Uh, good evening. Uh, we already held a public hearing on the uh, 2016 Street and Utility Project. However, um, one or actually two notices didn't go out properly. Um, we would like to just uh, cross our T's and dot our I's and hold another uh, improvement hearing on that to ensure that. Uh, all of those were addressed properly. What happened was uh, there was a condo association. Uh, the uh, one owner came up. Uh, we sent the uh, notice to that owner. Um, however, there were four owners, and all four should have been notified um, in that case. So we'd just like to uh, make sure that everything uh, was done properly. Thank you, Kyle. Questions from the council? Motion to approve. We have a motion by Greg Schultz to approve. Do you have a second? Second. Second by Dave Burbank. Any further discussion there? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. Moving down to public comment, and if anybody in the audience wishes to speak on anything not on the agenda, please step forward and sign in. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on down to council comment, and we will start with uh, Council Member Schultz. Uh, nothing this evening. Burbank. Pretty quiet in the third ward. Rainy. Uh, got uh, some emails last week in regards to a citizen concern in regards to the uh, new venue at the golf course and he was concerned with uh, parking in the in the parking lot and uh, I hope that's a huge problem uh, we can certainly address that uh, in in May uh, should that come to fruition I, I wish the new person much luck with his with his with that uh, uh, that's going on out there. Uh, also, I had questions in regards to J.C. Park Pavilion um, as we go in the future. Uh, you know, I think <clears throat> maybe take a little bit more time and, and look at that. Um, I also last weekend um, had a coach a basketball tournament. Uh, 12, 12 parents, so 24 or 24 parents, and uh, uh, overwhelming support for the J.C. Park Pavilion and, and how beautiful that looks, and that's nice to hear. I was, I was, uh, and I, I hear that when I go to coffee in the morning as well. That's that's going to be a very nice pavilion when it's done. Um, evening for kids sake, Big Brothers Big Sisters, which I am a, a huge part of. I'm a big brother. That is the Saturday the 12th of March that's coming up. Uh, Bull, Bull for Kids Sake is coming up as well before our next meeting. I would just encourage people to please uh, please uh, support those programs as well as the rest of them that are going to be coming up uh, end of the month. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Cindy. Nothing this evening. Dutton. Uh, just a couple things. I had some of the same conversations that Kevin had. Um, with regard to the uh, the golf course, we're excited about that uh, opportunity. Hopefully, it pans out. Um, there are times that we uh, we work to uh, be accommodating and uh, get things done so the ball can get rolling, and um, that's that's continuing to happen. There's a few details we're going to get sorted out, but uh, I think those will be good, and I hope it will be a positive uh, addition down there. Uh, J.C. Park was another one we talked about. Um, people are very happy with the way it looks, and, and I think the finished product is going to be uh, going to be great. Uh, there might be a few things we would do differently in the future, but um, overall it will be good. And uh, I'm also going to wish my stepmother a happy birthday because she doesn't get them very often, and it's mm. today. So <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> She's 14. Mm. 
we could all say happy birthday to her. Yes, you can. <laughs> happy birthday. Okay. Jeff. Uh, I have a couple of things. Uh, first thing, I'd like to congratulate the gymnastics team on the, at the state tournament. I'd also like to congratulate Peyton Robb and uh, Brandon Moen in winning state champions uh, in the wrestling tournament. Um, Last and not least, my daughter turned six today, which is actually 24. So congratulations, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. I think we had uh, a wrestler that took a third place also. Yes, we did. Uh, Tanner Cole. Yes. Wish him congratulations yes. also. Okay, and this will move on to the mayor. Jonathan Elstad. Thank you. Chris. Just a reminder, the caucuses are tomorrow. That's why we're meeting tonight. And I urge everyone to participate. Thank you, Chris. And for myself, anybody that has a birthday today, <laughs> you deserve it. Happy birthday. So, Chair will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion by Kevin Rainey to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Nate Dodson. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Do you adjourn? <laughs>